welcome to Manifestor Hub podcast. Today we have Priyanka Sachdeva with us. She is the founder of Core and Pure. How are you, Priyanka? Welcome. Thanks a lot for having me here. I am good. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? So this podcast, the purpose of this podcast is to know the manifestation secrets of entrepreneurs successful such as Priyanka. So let's see what we figure out from her today. So Priyanka, your brand name is Pure and Pure. Core, sorry, it's Core and Pure. What does it mean? So the brand name is Core and Pure. I am into 100% pure things. So everything is pure to the core. So that is the meaning. I, I need not tell everybody that I am in purity. It is <laughs> core and pure. So make some sense. Because so pure yoga. So this is why it is. I know. I, and purity has to do with internal purity because the way I see it is that it's about internal purity which you are trying to put it in your business and so your brand is also reflecting that yes so tell me what is the purpose of your business what is the market that you're serving and does it connect with your internal purpose okay. so uh, my business is completely the passion one and i have connected my passion into my business and uh, when you say the market what I am serving, I, as of now, if you, geographically, if you talk about, as of now, I am in uh, India and a couple of places outside I'm right. sending. But uh, yes, moving ahead, we would be looking upon for the uh, international market as well. But the uh, Indian market is my major focus. When you talk about the purpose, the purpose of my, uh, you know, brand or me coming in business mm -hmm. is to bringing in the purity of the things. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I personally, uh, I'm the believer of natural things, nature, mm -hmm. and I'm very much close to it. So when you can only deliver what you are close to and what you believe in. Right. Exactly, exactly. So, and uh, I don't believe in synthetic things. To be very honest, I I don't remember last when did I did my facial. Oh, I don't remember. And haircut is one for which, and uh, you know, I was I go to parlor. Otherwise, I don't use uh, the synthetic products. And there was a gap. I have grown up with the nature and the naturals, and uh, when you go to market, you don't find that. And if you use something, let's say for example, you know fresh flower you have here looking at the fl a fresh flower when you use it or the fresh things or the pure things you have that you know different kind of connection yeah right? the vibration the is very pure yeah, exactly yeah, very uplifting yes, yes. right so uh, uh, the gap was there uh, this is i know how if you are using something pure impacts for example if you are keeping you know 10 roses uh, the fresh one, a synthetic oil, and, and then uh, putting a synthetic oil in that for diffusion. And if you are keeping 10 roses, a fresh one, yes. see the impact, yes. see the difference, yes. right? And I have seen the benefit of all those. I have personally experienced it. So to bring it to people, I saw the gap and ventured into the business. So you have a complete range of essential oils. So, and uh, they help people right from you know overcoming their stress uh, sleep issues and even chakra energy balancing so would you like to talk about it how are your oils helping the people so first of all i would like to say what exactly essential oils are because the problem is when i go to people and uh, people ask me what do you do so i say essential oil i say yeah i am also using almond oil i am also using <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't know much about it <laughs> people yes, don't yes. know much about it so my industry is you know full of education and awareness based so i would like to introduce people through your medium that what exactly essential oils are so the smell you get from any plant let's say from here, what the smell you are getting mm -hmm. is because of the essential oil component present in okay. that, right? Yes. And these are mm -hmm. diffusive in nature. They are volatile. So they are diffusing as they are volatile. So they are diffusing and they are nanoparticle, right? So whether you inhale it, you consume it or you use it topically, it enters your blood vessel being nanoparticle, right? And anything which goes to the blood vessel would work on the hormone, wow. right? And... 95% of the problem what we have starting from you know the thought process 
जो कई बार उलझन होती है यार ये नहीं कर रहा है ऐसा हो रहा है यू आर नॉट एबल टू डिसाइड और सम काइंड ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम लाइक यू नो नींद नहीं आ रही है या फिर यू नो प्रॉब्लम लाइक even even arthritis and all you yeah, know yeah, yeah. so all hormonal imbalances are there or toxins accumulation are there yeah. so essential oil is something which enters your blood vessel works on your hormone it, it balances it out and then gives you the cure from the root cause of not course. superficially or mm-hmm. even suppressing so that's how you know we are manufacturing product for you if you see uh, essential oil would work on uh, as you said sleep yeah. and all everything it works on mm. nowadays we are in new era medicine yes, yes. or uh, it is 300 year old only mm. prior to that it was all the natural things of course of course and uh, like you said you know everything just starts from this uh, that uh, you have a cure in your head and then so all the problems that manifest the, the illness and the diseases they are because of the emotional imbalances it all starts with one thought which you could not control and then it multiplies and it just you know disturbs your chakra energies and then hormones and then it develops and manifests into illness and diseases and these essential oils help you balance your emotions like when you know, there is an oil for uh, stress management i guess mm-hmm. for sleep you are having the fragrance and it's all biotechnologies enters your blood vessels and help you right so tell me uh, because i am into chakra energy alignment mm-hmm. what oils help just name a few oils for crown chakra heart chakra uh, just share a few things with the uh, viewer, viewers so mm-hmm. that they know right so for example i'll you know correlate this with the traditional thing mm-hmm. what you are doing in daily life you know as a tradition you are carrying forward yeah. plus i'll add on you know the science aspect of, of this course, sure, and then sure, sure. you can see it so for example uh, any religion you talk about the religion says uh, you have to go for the fumigation of uh, loban a hindi term agar aap dekho loban hai so if you see hinduism if you see christianity if you see uh, you know muslim so everybody is fumigating loban at home right mm-hmm. jo dhuaan aap karte ho and bolte hain ki negative energy will go away ha right right hum karne ke liye bola ja raha hai subah bhi karo sham bhi karo so we are doing it we yeah, have yeah. no logic to it aur agar aap apne parents se pooch bhi lo to they will not be able to tell you okay? of course okay? yeah this so is that's what happens so now what happened there was a so loban ka english name is frankincense so when the research was performed and the frankincense ka oil was given to a person to inhale and immediately the hypothalamus start was activated wow right so now you can see everything here outside is the same but internally how you are looking at thing or how it is impacting is all internal now you are like when you are doing those things everything has a limitation right uska kuch type khana bhi aap khate ho to yaar thodi der ke baad phir bhook lagti hai because body requires it in the same way everything has to be balanced and time time pe aapko cheeze karni padti hai to isliye bola jata tha ki subah bhi aap isko karo aur sham ko bhi aap isko karo taki aap completely balanced aligned rahoge okay so now for crown chakra because hypothalamus maine bola and it comes here so frankincense is one you know agar main waise baat karu so impacts you then aap chandan lagate ho yahan pe right yeah so it again works on your crown chakra so everything see what you are doing main usse bol rahi hu yeah and there is a component called santanol aapke sandalwood mein which is a major component is santanol only or wo aapke mind ko impact karta hai so again you are calm cool composed yes, yes. and that's how you would behave right now coming to let's say for example heart chakra so if i am talking about heart chakra yeah. heart chakra up you know if your blood flow if your heart beat because this is the first sound you hear right yes so it is impacting a lot and everything has a connection with this one so when lavender for example so lavender oil hai jo aapke aapko you know ease deta hai hmm. calm karta hai and when you see their lavender oil has natural sedatives yeah but jab natural sedative honge to aap aap na aaj ke date mein log bahut sare medicines le rahe hote hain you know yeah, they are yeah. and all the stuff ke liye i won't name but uh, you know till sath hai so when you are inhaling those things or the blends like hamare paas insomnia ek blend hai jo ki hum sleep ke liye aur anxiety ke liye suggest karte hain so it has a component of lavender sandalwood chamomile 
Why? Because this is calming you down and it has a natural sedative by the name linalool or linalyl acetate. अगर मैं medical अगर मैं scientific terms में बात करूँ and linalool and linalyl acetates has natural sedative. राइट तो आपको है ना पहले के जमाने में लोग क्या करते थे कि लैवेंडर को एक उसमें पिलो बना लेते थे उसका या फिर जैस्मिन होता है जैस्मिन में भी नेचुरल सेडेटिव है तो जैस्मिन को बोलते हैं कि अगर आपने अपने पास रखा रहा आपने देखा होगा रात को लोग है ना बेला का फूल लगाते हैं वो जब आप बेला का फूल लगा रहे हो तो आप इतने कंपोज हो इतने वो वो होते हो आप कॉन्फिडेंस इट बोस्ट योर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड आई टेल यू स्टोरी बिहाइंड शादियों में आपने देखा होगा यू नो बेला लगाते हैं और चाय ऐसे फूल यूज करते हैं बिकॉज़ एट दैट टाइम बोथ दी ग्रूम and the bridegroom, both of them are nervous, hmm. okay. right? Okay. I and they will work in the nervous system. The flower has been given, the flower has been given in the inhalation and it has been so composed. Wow. Hai. They are like, you know, sorted. Okay, let's go. And ancient India is like full of such sciences. Yes, you know? yes. And so I'm so glad you're bringing it forward. And let me compliment you, Priyanka, for your balanced throat chakra because the way you speak and authentically exp- uh, uh, Express yourself. <laughs> you have such a great balanced throat chakra, which is very strong. Thank you. And for the audience, you know, entrepreneur is a special person because they are having a purpose. They are serving a market, and they are, you know, giving employment opportunities to a lot of people, and they are for solving problem for masses. So they are operating majorly from the crown chakra, where their purpose is very much active, and it is. Going, you know, in circles and helping a lot of people. So their other chakras, the other six lower chakras, are very much aligned and balanced. So my next question to you is, how do you stay positive? Mm. And yeah, please talk about it because you know, uh, being a mother and being an entrepreneur, she has to do a lot to do this work-life balance, and then of course she is progressive and making great progress. So it's important for us to know how do you maintain your positive energy. Ah. <laughs> yes. Uh, thanks a lot for the compliment, first of all. <laughs> And so, uh, see, I always say one thing: it is amalgamation of so many things. Okay. You are, you know, not one a, a part of you, one uh, of yourself. If you take out that is that is the whole universe, and you are taking out a part of that, and then you can see only that part, right? Yes. yes. But actually, the whole you is a combination of lot many things. Yes. It? Yes, that's true. So, the same way I say, if you have eaten good food, then you will maintain your body. It is not like that. Hmm. You need to walk as well. Of course. As I, if you are not walking, तो आपके घुटने तो काम ही नहीं करेंगे. That's true. Right. Yeah. So what you are is the amalgamation of uh, so many things. I'll say, and 360 degree you need to work for that. So when I have to stay positive, the first mm-hmm. thing is my routine, mm-hmm. which keeps me positive. And uh, like you know, routine. If I talk about, I'll uh, tell you, I get up. Not early in the morning. I'm very early riser. Oh. So somewhere around three thirty to four, I get up. Wow. And uh, then I have to have my workout, and then meditation. Mm-hmm. So first I do workout, and then I go for meditation. So this is how. Well, first I used to do meditation, and then I used to go for my workout. But uh, somebody suggested me because workout, you are uh, yeah. you know your heart is uh, pumping high. Yeah. 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 So in that case, after that you need to calm down. So then go for meditation. Yes. So then I think that's a good suggestion. Yes, yes. right. So this is how I started. This is what I do. Then I go for my normal puja, and uh, then uh, I am very close to nature, as I told you. So plants are my, and probably that's the reason I am in this particular. Of business. course, that's well. your passion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so uh, I will give time to my plants. Hmm. Then by nine thirty or ten, I'm on off to work. Wow! Right, morning and in between six o'clock, I tell my daughter to get up, get her ready, and then send her to school. And after that, uh, I have my full day. 
All right. That's beautiful. So uh, one more compliment to you is that your sacral chakra is very balanced. You are a passionate person and you're using that same passion for your work. Mm -hmm. So of course your work is definitely, definitely synergized and people are going to get the best from you because you are close to nature and you're passionate about it. The second thing what I want audience to notice is that her spiritual workout routine because she is an early riser and as I have spoken to many spiritual people, they all are early risers and they meditate in the morning, which keeps them grounded. It's good for the entire chakra balancing and it's her spiritual workout, which keeps her aligned with the energy of universe. Now, when we're talking of spirituality, what are your spiritual beliefs? What is the flavor of your spirituality? We want to hear from you. So spirituality for me is, uh, you know, believing in myself, mm -hmm. right? And uh, when you see internally, spirituality for me is all internal. Yeah. What you are is the, you know, outcome of your belief system, isn't it? And uh, spirituality means mindfulness, yes. consciousness, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And uh, if you are... Every, people nowadays um, many people talk about be mindful yeah right yeah, yeah. it's just saying be mindful cannot be mindful yes you yes. need to practice on that and when you have practiced your 24 7 has to be mindful yes right yes. Mm -hmm. what i'm saying i need to be mindful of what i'm saying what i'm doing i need to be mindful of what i'm doing and when you are mindful of what you are doing as per your belief system as per your values, you can never go wrong. And, right? And when you have your values, the values we carry from our family, from the society, not necessary that we have to carry the baggage. Of course. Right? Yeah. If the house is there and some brick is like, you know, you are seeing the crack in the brick and it is not serving good to you, why to keep that brick? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we need to take it out. So spirituality for me is that. Your internal being, you being conscious, you being mindful, and uh, what you are giving out to the society. That this is a perfect definition that Priyanka has given. And of course, I also teach mindfulness to people, especially entrepreneurs, because you need to be very, very mindful of what you're doing throughout the day. And like she said, 24 by 7. Be mindful of every thought. Be mindful of every word that you say. Be mindful of every decision that you take and be mindful of internally how are you feeling and be mindful of discarding what is not serving you anymore yes. i think this is beautifully said by you and uh, i totally love your definition of being spiritual and this is the way to be be yourself be yourself and you are so authentic i just totally <laughs> love it so um because you're in business let me talk about competition how do you see your competition Right. So, uh, see, competition is uh, something business terms, if I talk about, it is always big to have the competitor because, you know, again, you are on it, right? Yeah. yeah. There is somebody outside without you investing in is reminding you what to do. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I, I agree with you. On that. And yeah. apart from that, what happens is, when you are working and the other competitor is also working, the market is becoming big. Yes. And the market is becoming big. big. You cannot cater to any. I'm older than we cannot make everybody happy. Of course. So yeah. the same way you cannot cater everyone. Your market size is also big. You need to take. Up ye kar sakte ki aapka pie bada ho sakta. This is Haan. what you can do. And when let's say, aaj essential oil ke baare mein main baat kar rahi hu. Logo hmm. ko nahi pata hai, batati hu. Lekin agar bilkul 100% original mein, jaysay there are brands which have come to Indian market, they are 100% pure oils. Aur unho ne market create kiya, unho ne logo ko bataya ki essential oil hai. But, jahaan pe India being a price sensitive market, hmm. what's the benefit I am getting is, it's like people, they understood what the essential oils are, they want to buy it, but their product is quite, Priced, so they are coming to me. Yeah, your products are hundred percent like them. So please give it to us. Yeah. So see how beautiful a competition is playing for me. Actually, they are advertising <laughs> for you, advertising doing marketing for you. For you. Yes. <laughs> so this That's is how you how you are taking it. 
यार अगर आप सोचोगे कि यार वो आ गया मेरा काम खराब हो गया डज गो दैट वे यू जस्ट नीड टू ट्वीक इफ समथिंग सेम भी चल रहा है तो यू नीड टू ट्वीक फ्रॉम दैट सो लर्न फ्रॉम दिस इज पर्सनल पावर सो हर सोलो फ्लेक्स इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग शी इज मूविंग विद पर्सनल पावर एंड शी नोज अर ऑथेंटिसिटी सो दैट्स वाई शी इज सींग एवरीथिंग वेरी पॉजिटिवली शी नोज दैट वॉट हर प्लेस इज एंड शी नोज दैट शी इज ट्रू टू हर टारगेट मार्केट and they will come to her so they are coming to her so it is all about your internal energy how you see competition so i also want to talk to you about collaborations because it's abundance and we all must collaborate to grow so how do you see it for me collaboration is the thing okay. my business is completely and completely based on collaboration i am firm believer that you cannot do things alone राइट मैं जगह पहुंच जाऊंगी of course yeah so yeah. somebody came to me and i always give this example somebody came to me and said ki yaar uh, rose oil to hai na uh, amazon pe mil raha hai 300 rupees ka 30 ml and i said yaar i cannot give even a drop hmm hmm right so i cannot collaborate with the company which is selling you know of or course, giving yeah. product of that uh, that thing so i need to have values jahan pe same hai jahan pe you know uh, intentions are same Hmm. only then your collaboration can be fruitful if the intentions and values are not same the collaboration will never happen of course so this is like your frequency where yes. you vibrate you will only attract and collaborate with those people yes. who are vibrating at your yes. frequency yes exactly exactly yeah. so exactly. that's what it is you attracting that yeah. so um having said uh, all this you know um there are a lot of female entrepreneurs like and I want them to look up to you and take inspiration from you. So, what is your message for them? For women entrepreneur, see, I'll tell you one thing. Starting is the first thing, but always remember, if you are not passionate about things, you will always crib on. Yar, mujhe apna ghar chhodna pad raha hai. Mujhe apne bache ko ala time nahi dena pad raha hai. Matlab, you know, I have to give more time to business. whatever you feel is more important go for that but it has to come from within if there is no fire in the belly things will never happen so always go for thing which you are passionate about and if you are passionate about it you will make it happen for sure that's right. true absolutely <laughs> true so if it is connected with your internal purpose and passion you wouldn't mind paying the cost which means you know compromising on going play dates or you know missing out on a few things of your children or household only if you are passionate about it and nothing comes without paying the price yes always remember but it is you are paying price for good things and for good things you always if somebody wants to buy something you know precious yes, yes you have to <laughs> you have to pay, pay the price and yes. trust you me now can so for my for, for example i'll tell you my uh, daughter is uh, she'll be turning 11 uh, um, this april only and uh, the way i work the way yesterday night uh, she had her exam today she has gone for exam she is in standard 5 and i she came to me mama mujhe padha do meri kaun was the chapter and then it was written the first line was you have to work hard to succeed to that level and then my daughter says that i can see at my home itself <laughs> so you can understand it is, and she is taking inspiration from you exactly and somebody says or sometimes she will tell me ki hai na yaar tum ghar jaldi aa jao tum ise chhod do ye kar do so one of my friend told her ki tum mama ko ghar mein chahti ho ya fir business karna chahti ho to kya nahi mere ko dono chahiye she cannot leave her work she should not leave her work so she is so they understand and you are the role model of your kids so if you want that society you need to be the role model yeah and with an empowered mother the children are also very very empowered so remember that so make sure to find your purpose and then go for it all right then on this note we are closing the podcast and please leave your comments and feedback below this video 
See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye.